Uh, today what we're doing, we're running through DRM and DLPC revalidation training. Uh, so what I've got the guys doing is the DRMs are rigging land, uh, trailers for the fault finding test for the LPCs and the LPCs have just done the hustle identification test and they've also done the before use inspection on the hustle kit, specifically the kit that we're going to be using today when we're flying with a wild cat this afternoon. Um, see that's the right way, is that 24? So that's 20. Not 20. The Wildcat's only got a maximum working load of a thousand kilos, so nothing particularly spicy today. So um, we've got a trailer, lightweight, unladen, so all the weight of that is 6,680 uh, kilos. And then um, with that we're going to be using a seven foot strop with a 10,000 pound sling connector. And then the other load we're going to be flying is just uh, a netted load in a 5,000 pound net. And it'll probably be two daft tyres. Um, with a couple of jerry cans to boost up the weight. So, but the guys being reserves, they don't get much exposure to aircraft. And on other weekends, training weekends that we've had, obviously we're always relying on that third party being the aircraft or air crew uh, with the safe stability weather affecting it. We don't get to actually use live aircraft very often. So opportunities like this today are golden for the reserves. Yeah, so we've got a, a Wildcat from One Regiment Army Air Corps. They've been flying our loads for us today, which uh, in turn helps us develop our guys for the reserves. The de um, Defence Brigade Marshallers and the Defence Landing Point Commanders will then get their beneficial from their training. So the Defence Landing Point Commanders, they're in charge of running the point uh, with the Defence Brigade Marshallers working underneath them. Um, what's happening in between each flying serial, they're doing a bit of a round robin uh, from doing appointment changes. So they're acting as a primary marshaller, a secondary marshaller, hookup and static man. So as the aircraft approaches the load, the secretary marshal is the eyes and ears of the primary marshaller and is his point of reference um, with regards to the load. So once the aircraft gets in line with the load, the primary marshal then stop what he's doing and copy or mirror the secretary marshaller. They'll bring the aircraft down to a position low enough for the static man to then uh, dissipate the static with the static probe and the hookup man will do his job and attach the load to the sacro which is underneath the aircraft. Uh, what I'm looking for from my perspective is command and control from the defence landing point commander uh, and making sure he's got full observations of what each individual is doing and uh, me as a defence helicopter handling instructor is there overseeing the whole process and in turn revalidating the occurrences. Working with the reserves is uh, difficult at times but today they've got a lot out of the training and they've done really well uh, considering the lack of exposure to actual live aircraft. So the, you can do dry drills as much as you want but when you've got a live aircraft um, things change, uh, you've got to be more situationally aware and today they've done really well. Um, the guys have gone through without much stare from myself uh, and again I've just interjected where I needed to. Um, all in all it's been a fantastic day.